Hello, my name is Sarah Willoughby. I'm author of He's Making Diamonds, a teen's thoughts on faith through chronic illness and the host and founder of the Diamonds Conference, which is a free online conference for chronically ill Christians. So last week I was talking to one of my writing mentees. She is, she's a great writer, she's a good friend, but she also has a chronic illness. And she was sharing with me her frustration and just discouragement about where she was at in her writing and feeling like she had more to give, but couldn't give it. And I totally related to that. Um, throughout being chronically ill and a writer, <laughs> uh, which is what all this channel is all about, I really struggled with that. I struggled with feeling like um, there's, I have more to give. I have a message that I want to share, but I can't share it. And there's a lot of different reasons, and we're going to get into that in future videos. If you're, you know, watching this video and not as soon as it's published, look around my channel. There's going to be videos about this. Um, but I want to focus right now on a specific thing, brain fog. I want, I just, what I want you to know is that brain fog isn't, uh, even right now, as I'm filming this video, I'm struggling with it, which is why I'm a little all over the place, but I, I'm just going to be real and I know that you guys get it. So brain fog isn't going to paralyze your writing forever. That's really what this whole video is about. It's just, that's what I want you to know. I struggle with it. I wrote my, my first book, <laughs> He's Making Diamonds, A Teen Thoughts on Faith Through Chronic Illness, when I was extremely sick. This wasn't one that was written when I, you know, had my brain functioning better. This wasn't one, this was written when I didn't have energy to do anything else, when I was bed bound when I was unable to, to, to take care of myself even, or to function relatively normally. And so I, fr I really struggled with it um, because I knew that I had a lot to share, but I kept forgetting what I wanted to say, or I, I could try and communicate something, but you know, my beta readers or my alpha readers would go, I don't get it. I don't know what you're trying to say here. And it would be so frustrating because I, I knew I had something to say, but I couldn't say it. It was so hard, but a friend of mine gave me some really good advice. My friend Esther told me that if you, um, God was going to, his grace was sufficient, basically. Basically, his grace is sufficient. 2 Corinthians 12, 9 is my favorite Bible verse um, for many reasons. This is among them. And it says, but he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weakness so that Christ's power may rest on me. And this is true with writing too. God, it, you, you don't have to stop writing because you have brain fog. And we're going to talk about how to deal with brain fog in a different video. But right now, I want you to not let brain fog paralyze you. If you need to, take a break. If you need to, you might have to step back from your writing. But that's okay because brain fog isn't going to last forever. I can testify to this. I had, at points, there was brain, my brain fog was so bad that I couldn't even w read a book that I had read 12 times before and knew the plot of because I couldn't pay attention, like I couldn't comprehend more than half a sentence at a time. It's hard. I get it. And I wrote this book with really bad brain fog. And you know what? This book isn't my best writing. And that's not what I'm supposed to be telling you right now. I'm supposed to be telling you, this is great, buy it. And honestly, I think I'm really proud of it. And I do think it has value and I do think you should buy it. However, it's not my best writing. I've written things that are better than this when I didn't have brain fog. But God's grace is sufficient. And somehow he uses this, even though I couldn't think through it. Um, and I couldn't, I, 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 I forgot things that I wish I had included. And I communicated things in a way that could have been communicated in a better way, but God uses it. So today I want to tell you to not let brain fog paralyze you. One, because you can still write even if you have brain fog. And that'll probably be my next video is how to write when you have brain fog. But two, um, God, but your brain fog isn't going to last forever. It's not going to be where it's at right now forever. It pro might get worse, probably will get worse, but it's also going to get better. And so you're not going to be stuck in this point forever. And this is what I was telling my writing mentee is, yeah, it's 
frustrating and it sucks now, but it's not the end and her writing isn't done and God's not done with her writing or her brain or her body. And she's going to be able to write with less brain fog or no brain fog at some point in the future. So hang on to those hopes um, and I will see you in next the next video to talk about how the practical nitty gritty stuff of how to write with brain fog.